know, back in uh, 2017 when I uh, went on social media and said to uh, the people in uh, military uh, intel and special forces and stuff, I said, uh, you know, and in eight months I can get myself in really good physical condition, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, reverse a lot of depression and abuse that they inflicted on me. And I said, in one day, y'all can pull your head out of your asses and stop being assholes that abuse people like me because you're selfish and stupid, and, and you won't. And then um, about eight months later, you know, after I got myself down to one 10% body fat and and was had a regular good exercise program that wasn't excessive or compulsive, it was just healthy, and I was lean and got all the fat off and everything. Um, I had to stop working out because my teeth were rotting out of my, my two back teeth were rotting out of my head, okay, because of economic abuse and conflict and being given food and, uh, and, and um, uh, substance at uh, homeless shelters and, and donation centers. Right? And so I had these teeth problems and I also had some uh, nerve damage in my feet that was like unbearable, it was really uncomfortable, it was hard to do my cardio. And I couldn't do my resistance training because my teeth were like literally exploding in my head. My head would throb and feel like it was going to explode. And so uh, I went to the hospital thinking, you know, they're going to tell me I'm, uh, they're going to take blood tests and say, you know, you have cancer and diabetes and other things and, and you're going to be treated and then we're going to give you morphine and treatment and you're going to die. That's what I expected from them. Instead, uh, they came and they had me psychoanalyzed because I, I went and I was pragmatic and intelligent. I said, this is a military town. Is there anybody in the hospital that you can refer me to that can be responsible for what the military has done to me for standing up to human trafficking, genocidal operations for drug cartel operations and stuff? Is there anybody I can talk to in the hospital that can... Uh, you know, have some integrity and make sense of all these horrible things that are happening to me. I wasn't yelling, screaming, look twice, whoops, oh, I'll bring down the fires. I was, I was completely coherent. I was very cognizant and very intelligent and speaking to people intelligently, right? Well, they brought in a lady who says, you know, why are you so depressed? Why do you feel like you're dying and stuff? It's like, well, because my physical ailments and because I'm like, why aren't you depressed? They they were right on the border of Los of El Paso and, and Mexico, and they mass murder Mexicans for genocidal operations for institutionalization. Why why aren't you depressed about life? Why are you so happy to get in your car and pay extortion to a bunch of psychopaths that abuse the hell out of us and think they own the planet? You know, what's wrong with you? Why are, you're supposed to be intelligent? You're supposed to be healthy. You're supposed to be more healthy than me. You're supposed to help me be healthy, right? <laughs> So they sent me to uh, this, the psychological building across from the police department, the federal building here in town, okay? They sent me in there and, and, and patronized me for about two weeks, you know, called me in for appointments and didn't even really talk to me. Had me just keep coming back in and out, talking to the patients coming in and pragmatically talking to the patients more intelligently and then getting them upset for being intelligent with them and not giving them drugs to survive hell, right? Like the assholes at the building. Right? And I handled the building better. They had a bunch of muscle, like they always do. They go, oh, well, hoo, hoo, hoo. And when the bullies would pick on the people being bullied at the homeless shelters and stuff like that, I would help coach and protect the people being bullied and then just be strong and where I could, you know, let the bully know, hey, we ain't going to have this, right? And the muscle would come out and say, hey, and tell the kid being bullied, go back to the thing to get bullied tomorrow. We'll give you more drugs. And I'd be like, y y you really think you went to NMSU and you got your degree and you think, and you're, oh, you're preaching. They always tell me that too. Oh, you're, pre you know, you're preaching to the choir. I, I know what you're talking about. If I got it all on lockdown and handle it and stuff like that. Yeah, you womanizing, ugly pile of shit. I don't want to fucking hear it, okay? <laughs> but I have to be nice to them. Or I get in trouble and some of the people from the police department, the federal building, they come over and say, hey, don't make us feel like the Peckerwood Pussy Plantation uh, dog fuckers we are, right? And everybody video records their stuff, okay? And the closer to the federal buildings and stuff like that, the more cocky the arrogant, abusive people get, 
okay? And the more unsettled the bully people get, like, oh, this is scary, it's never going to end, we're all just we're better off dying, right? And then if you go, like, to a grocery store, it's the exact opposite, okay? The bullies are like, oh, there's lots of everyday people around to be witnesses of you kicking my ass and sending me off to jail, embarrassing me by hog tying me with my with with my own belt and my own shoelaces while you lecture me on how to be a better person in front of decent people that work hard to try to survive here. Okay. <laughs> so and that's what that and that's happened the whole time since I started posting online on those videos that you guys are watching, where I was trying to talk people out of mass murdering Mexicans and Middle Easterners through genocide operations because they're sending their children off to be murdered or murderers in in population control experiments for psychopaths, right? So you're like sitting there going, okay, and everybody's filming this, right? And we're still in the process of, of this kind of disgusting interactive. And everybody's, this isn't like with Jesus' time where they turn it into a comic book at a cult store where you believe in magic bullshit after you're dead, okay? And this isn't back in Hele Selassie's and, uh, and, and Judy Christian Murdy's time, okay, where they turn you into a documentary on PBS and then say how brilliant they were and how brilliant we will be, you know, and all that crazy group of bullshit, okay? This is the 21st century where you have technology actively attempting to think as intelligently as people like me to protect uh, the environment and the species from people like you. Okay. Okay. So you guys understand. Okay. And so, and you, you have all these people around me. You have people that go to a church store every day cheat on their spouses, okay, are condescending abusive to their spouses because there's nothing their spouses could do about it because of economics and finances, okay, and then sit and watch me uh, actively get up on social media attempting to talk people out of doing genocide through drug cartel operations, and then watching the military sexually abuse predicate and abuse on my family and abuse my family psychologically and emotionally. And then the people that go to the church stores that are public figures that are really, you know, pillars of the society will always walk up to the military that are doing this to my family and say, you're the real heroes and my, 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 uh, my relative's crazy or my friend or my whatever, or that person is crazy. I'm sorry. He says all those bad things about you. I don't say bad things about anybody. Okay, David Rockefeller collects the truth on all of you, and your surveillance uh, better be as good as my surveillance if you talk that way ab- about me in front of other people and their cell phones, right? You guys don't want to thank NASA for being the massa of the New World Order? <laughs> Anybody want to go to the moon now? Let's live the Lord's Prayer first, and we'll think about going to the moon if we have to. Okay. That's that's not a suggestion. That's a command. Okay, I'm gonna load this up, and uh, you better follow commands. If you're not capable of following commands, okay, expect your technology to keep getting rapidly better than you are. Okay, a taxpayer. I don't give a shit about taxpayers. Money's not real. Okay, and the the thoughts, words, and actions applied in physics of the Lord's Prayer are. I've corrected the linguistics, okay, with the help of people like Judah Krishnamurti and D.T. Suzuki through meditation and active meditation, okay? So um, let's do this, because I'm ready for children to live the beauty of the commands of Jesus Christ and stop being abused by Packer Woods on a pussy plantation that think they can be judgmental and David Rockefeller and Philip Rothschild in my... Uh, societal dynamics set up the uh, capacity to collect all the hypocritical information of all the Packer Woods on the Pussy Plantation on, on TV, you know, doing the Tartuffe shows, okay, for narcissists, all right? Let's load this up. <laughs>